Welcome to this episode in the FXDM educational series. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at margin and leverage. Now, these two are functions of each other. So when you understand one, you'll do a pretty good job of understanding the other. So margin is basically a good faith deposit that you have available in your account, equity in your account, cash in your account, against potential losses when you're holding a position. So what is the minimum required amount of equity or cash that I need to have in my account in order to hold open a position? Well, let's look at an example and we'll see how it relates to leverage. So uh, let's start out with, uh, let's assume that a trader is looking at holding open a one lot long position on the euro to the US dollar. Let's say that the current exchange rate was 1.09939. All right, now we know that a one single lot position means that in, because the euro is the base currency, then this represents 100,000 units of the euro. So what we need to know, however, if your account is denominated in US dollars is, well, what's the notional value of this one lot position if the account currency is the quote over here, which is the dollar. Well, all we would have to do is just take this number here, the notional value in the base currency. So what, how many units of the base currency is this lot represent? We times that by the exchange rate. So we know that in this case, this represents 109,939 dollars of notional currency in the uh, quote currency here in the US dollar. Well, if our leverage ratio, so let's say that that is one to a thousand. So if our leverage ratio is one to a thousand. So that means that for each dollar of margin, so of each dollar of margin, we're controlling a thousand dollars worth of notional value. So if we were to take, let's say one, and we were to divide it by a thousand, then we would get 0 0.001. Well, we can take that and we can multiply it by that notional value here, 109,939. And what we're gonna get is a margin amount. So the margin required, the minimum margin required is going to be $109.94. So this is an easy calculation for us to walk through and to say, okay, assuming that my account is denominated in dollars, I have a leverage ratio here of one to a thousand. I know what the notional value is in this particular lot or this position that I wanna hold open. So what's my margin requirement here? So one is really a function of the other. Now this is a pretty straightforward example. Let's make this a little bit more advanced as a trader is actually adding positions to their portfolio. Now let's make this a little bit more complicated and I'm gonna make some assumptions as we do this. So let's say that the margin requirement is in fact uh, one to 1,000 here. So our margin requirement is based on a leverage ratio here, one to 1,000. A, a now let's assume that that's the margin requirement for anything from $0 up to $1.2 million in notional value. Now let's assume that the, the leverage ratio changes, so therefore margin's gonna change for anything from uh, hypothetically $1.2 million in notional value to $7 million. So we'll say uh, two to 1,000 is our leverage ratio there for everything from 1.2 million on up to $7 million. Now that's gonna change our calculation if a trader is holding open a larger position. So let's do an example. Let's say that a trader is in fact holding open a larger position. So we'll start them out with, uh, we'll do the Euro to the US dollar. And why don't we use those same numbers that we used before. So the exchange rate would be 1.09939. So that means, and, and here we're gonna assume that they're holding up a, a position of 10 lots of the Euro US dollar. Now, what do we know? Well, we can calculate a, th a couple of things out really easy. We know that 10 lots at this exchange rate, then we know that that's going to be notional value because it's gonna be a million units of the Euro in this case. Well, if we take the million units of the Euro times by the exchange rate, uh, w because there's 10 lots. So times by the exchange rate over here, that's gonna give us our notional value in dollar terms. So let me put that down here. So let's say that's 1 million, $99,390. Now normally, so we would take this amount and we could calculate our margin requirement pretty easy because all we need to know is we just need to know what the notional value is and then we're gonna times that by 
uh, one divided by a thousand or this one to a thousand leverage ratio. And that tells us that, okay, we would need to have $1,099.39 in a minimum margin amount in equity available to hold open this position. All right, but uh, let's say that we make this a little bit more complicated and we're gonna add a position here. So we'll say that our trader, that she's decided to enlarge her position by uh, simultaneously going short uh, the dollar yen pair and she's gonna open up uh, three lots of that one. So three full size lots. Well, in this case, the dollar is actually on the base side of the equation. So we know that this is, if each lot is worth 100,000 units of the base currency, then we times that by three. And that tells us that we have a total outstanding notional value here of $300,000. So that means we've got a, a total here between the two positions of total notional value. So let's just put a little line here. We're gonna, we're gonna sum these of $1,399,390. So that's the total notional value. Now here's where we have to do some calculation because we know that of this amount, up to $1.2 million of it is at this leverage ratio, one to a thousand. So we can say, that's an easy calculation, 1.2 million, so $1.2 million worth of this times 0 0.001. Well then that tells us that at least initially, we have up to the 1.2 million, we have a, so let's create another little column here. So we'll say this is margin. So initially we've got a margin requirement of uh, $1,200 for that portion, but that's only gonna cover 1.2 million of this $1.39939 million. So we actually have a leftover amount here of $199,390 which is, it falls into this category here between 1.2 million and 7 million with a leverage ratio of two to a thousand. So we'd have to do a little bit more of calculation. Now we can do that easy because if we take uh, two divided by a thousand, then we're gonna get 0 0.002. So that's our number that we're gonna times by our, no our remaining notional value here. And that gives us an amount of $398.78. All right, so if we add those up, then I get $1,598.78 would be the total margin requirement to hold open this position that consists of three lots of the dollar yen and 10 lots of the Euro US dollar. So it's a little bit more complicated, but it should help you to understand how margin and leverage relate to each other and how margin requirement may change depending on the size of your position.